What's up? We're back. We got West Virginia versus Arkansas State for the Big 12 Championship. See how we do. Uh, we we won the Sun Belt the first year and then won the Sun Belt year one. Year two, we didn't win the Sun Belt. Year three, we moved to the Big 12 and the first time we're playing for the Conference Championship. Look at that trophy in the AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas. Oh man, it's going to be a barn burner. I'll tell you that right now. They get the ball first, we kick it off. Nine and three versus eleven and one. We're third in the country. Trying to make the playoff. We win the Big 12. We get one of the first round buys because we're conference champions and we're one of the higher ranked. So yeah, their offense I I wasn't too familiar with. We got Collins on the edge. But a good stop on the first down. Loss of two. Trying to get some motion, but we're just we play zone. I'm good covering those. I usually play like the the corner dropped. Because a lot of the teams do the RPOs and everything, so we third and fifteen. Trying to get him off the field, and he just throws it away. Running it back, it's Brian. And we're doing one of those coaches' corners. So I, I've already, I've already played the game. This is a a replay. So I'm watching film and talking about it. Off the go, trying to just give up. You know, if you've watched my videos, you know, like this Texas angle is a huge staple on our offense. We, we have the ten plays that we do. You know, Rainers here got McReynolds. A good receiving back that just gets freaking leveled on first down. Rainer runs, McReynolds runs, you know, the, the, the running guys. I've got some speed. Got a huge first down. And then we've got the fast guy deep throughout the outside with Claire tied in. And so our main run is an outside zone. Borley's our future. We've got him. So yeah, we just roll out. See what Claire does here. Gets a nice block and lets us run it in with Rainer for the first score of the game. And yeah, so 80, 87 attempts rushing had 400 yards. So I mean, we don't rush a lot. We take a lot of sacks. Because I try not to run. And then when we do roll out, it's like a one yard loss. So, I mean, it's not like huge sacks, but it's a lot more hits than I uh, would like. It's probably my favorite defense. I, I like, I don't do a lot of, uh, a lot of movements, man. You see, you'll see people left and right just tinker, tinker, tinker. And I want you to have to do... You know, I've talked about this before, like, the the 15 play drives. Like, if you have to, which they get pass on the mesh. If you're doing those long of drives, I feel like I can get you into making a mistake more so than it being where you're just going to keep hitting me with big plays like that. It's complete. What a grab near the They start side. doing some hurry up. Yeah, we start doing some flats. I like doing the flats just because, like I said, they do RPOs a lot. A lot of screens. There on the halfback draw. Covered up in the middle with Jeffries. But we got Archibald and Collins, my two ends. My, my linebacking core is insane. Well, not right there. And you see them cock that arm. I start. <laughs> I do the peanut punch way too much. It works a lot better in the human games because they get a good inside draw zone. Play up the middle. I've caused more fumbles against human teams than I have the computer, I feel like. 
in just the limited number of games. Games. And they just drove it down with my throat and scored, tied the game. I like to be the bend but don't break, but there they uh, seven plays, 83 yards. Pretty quick. score this touchdown they'll return it from inside the five and he's tackled at the 21 that's where the drive will start the Arkansas State offense back on the I like doing this mesh empty zero with some motion get showers moving he's my you know deep threat so you start getting some speed around the edge and if you can trigger the takeoff or the joystick, usually you can get a nice first down run pretty easy, though. but the stretch is what my money play. I run to the outside. I mean, with speed, you know, McReynolds and Bordley. If you can beat the edge and then the... You know, the mental and physical buffs that they get, um, like right there, joystick boost, and it's a flag for holding, which, of course, you start running on the outside. Only one of the big problems with the outside zone is if you get there too fast, it's holding a lot of the time. Yeah, Claire, he's a possession tight end, and he should be open. We, yeah, so... Ended up running. I'm glad I didn't fumble. He, Rainer, he's got a fumbling problem. Like he, he can he can run, but he doesn't carry or hold on to the ball very well. This is why I love the quarterbacks that can make things happen. Here you have an opportunity to. Claire's one of those tight ends that has the glue hands. He sits back, sees nothing downfield, decides to be able to pick up anything in his vicinity. He's going to hold on to more than likely. Keep this drive moving. Trying to create here on the move. Catch made on the right side. Holding. That's a big game. Oh, Drive oh, killer. Oh, Drive killer. Holding penalties can be the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it stalls this one. All right, second and 12. Set. It's second down. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. We got Let some of the yards back, the third and eight. Back to the angle. Man, it's such a good play because like Claire can take the defender with him and then leave a hole there. Dropping back. We're gonna throw for the first down. And usually you just follow that up. It's easy against the computer. You do have to watch out when you play a human player because a lot of the times if somebody sits there and covered as a linebacker, it's covered pretty well, so you gotta do some motions or do a little bit different things. If they want to go to the outside, it's okay, but inside... Trying to just no, run here. Pistol is probably my second best formation that I like to run out of. And... The tight end mesh is good, too. I've got... Pretty good tight ends there. Claire's the better one. Little, I mean, I don't throw to him too much, but he does get open every now and again. Just trying to kill some clock. Four tenths, 19 yards. The thing with McReynolds, man, is he gets those elusive backs. They're fast, but they're like glass cannons. I mean, they will break and not be anything it's Rainer good block delivers over the middle spin with showers to the two first and goal 50 seconds left in the first quarter oh I had a wide open guy but I just run up the middle you're not gonna cover it thing with human players man they'll start doing spies on you and just leaving everybody just clogging in the middle and so you gotta start doing other stuff but the computer really doesn't adjust much to that unless you do it a lot and that's the one drawback I mean even playing on Heisman difficulty you know we've got Heisman difficulty and those are my spin sliders turned up for the defense and everything and 
you know, there's times where, especially, what, like, third and long, man, the, the computer will destroy you. Collins with a nice tackle on first down. Keeping, keeping them honest there, you know. Short yardage is... It's really just that crossing pattern on the on the passing is what we were so being bad at. You know, they broke a tackle there. I've been trying to practice using the linebackers, but I, I do it more against the human than I do the computer. Because the linebackers, I mean, I haven't really tried it against the... Uh, they, they kill me with that mesh play all game. Into the first, 14 to seven, Arkansas State. And I don't do, I don't do many blitzes. Like I probably run like three or four base defenses, and then I'll, you know, slide the lines or coverages or something. But I really don't. I might blitz two percent of the time. Like I'm not a blitzer. And it's pro I probably, I feel like, let me know in the comments, like, I guess blitzing is pretty good when you time it right, but. Oh. Do the swim move inside, he goes outside because I don't hold contain. That's the one bad thing about using the end. But I've always been like an end user. Or D-Tackle. Had a D-Tackle that I, uh, Blaine Toll had like 20-something sacks the first year with him as a D-Tackle. And I really haven't had the, the talent. I tried to get a five-star and I got locked out because the deal breaker. He wanted the playing style, which because of the first year... And the quarterback keeps it on the option. I had a lot of sacks with my D tackle. Well, I didn't get sacks, and he locked me out after being the. I was his top choice, and it's like, dude, well, if you come to me, you'll get your playing style. But it is crazy how fast that that changes on recruiting. Maybe they'll lock you out without a question. And he's wide open, just sitting there. Oh, almost hits the Mountaineer in the back of the end zone. I like doing Tampa 2 in here. I mean, it depends on if you know what they're doing. Like, if it's a run, then obviously you want, you know, the line. But if they're rolling out the pass, and you just want to clog the passing lanes, a hard flat cover 2 is nice. And you see, like, all those dots everywhere. I mean, I think they get a touchdown here, but, yeah, because I don't get anything on him. He's running out of time here. Oh, no hell took him though. On the left hash mark. 14 to 10. Down the middle. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And he takes this from inside the five. The returner is brought down. It's a start of the next drive. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I've got the Here favorites the there. And the... Uh, this play is one of my favorites. Right down for a I get. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. And he's gonna float this one to the right side. It breaks coverages, and it's not like I don't. It's not like it. really depends on what coverage is picked. But it's one of those where you have two receivers running, and then one curls in, and so if they're in a zone, it's not man. That top guy will come and sit on the curl route and get confused, and then the other guy pretty much goes up free. And I mean, depending on what the safety does, and it, it is dependent on the coverage pick, so it doesn't work. It's not like a money play of like, oh, this is a touchdown. It's borderline. Like it's one of those that. A buddy of mine, you know, uh, he doesn't like it, but you know, looking to throw. Just hail Mary, give me that pick, baby. All right, twenty-one to ten, and I run right into the defender. Yabri Hood. 
So here it is. here's the, the jet sweep. I've started using this a lot because it it is really good. If you hit L2, you can hard juke back in, and especially if that end comes hard, you can curl back in pretty good and get consistent running. You know, ran it twice there and only get three yards. I mean, a lot of the times I've, I've scored touchdowns on a lot of, on the users, humans, because they'll either control the end or they'll crash way too hard. Claire with the first down. I've got a bunch of good seniors leaving this year. So I mean, like my Rainer, McReynolds, and Claire. It's Rainer. All leaving after this year, graduating. So I'm trying to see how far I can get in the playoffs. Made it to the playoffs for the first year. I mean, if I can win. Looking to throw again. Defense is coming after him. He'll be smarter right at the line for no game. Starting to play dumb now. The defense does a good job of pressuring the quarterback, but really impressed with the quarterback's efforts. Not only does he pull out of that, but he's able to get back. Do you like this angle for? Third and long, first down, really depends on what they do right there. And Claire, usually the sure-handed Claire has that sure, sure hands ability. I mean, he holds 9 out of 10, and he drops it there. But it would have been enough for the first down. So we punt. And I am terrible at punting. I don't know what... It is that I do wrong. 21 to 10. They throw the pick, but nothing happens to him. Running up the middle. And you see him do that strip. I try to do that strip every play. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Let's fly out of the wide out. Looks down field and connects with a wide there's a, there's a thing you can do with the, the gang tackling. So, like, if you have somebody holding up a guy like that, you can run in with another user and punch it. And a lot of times, like, it'll be like the guy's on the ground, but he's on top of somebody. So the play's still going. And you can still run in and knock it out. And that quick jump ability, oh my gosh, it is so dirty. On the quarterback, but he reminds everybody back to back losses. Not only can he third and 14, but also he is very, very see if I can hold him almost to the two minute one. He has against the run as well. Looking to throw it on third and very long. Hit him as I as he threw it. Forced to field goal. All right, 21 10. And the coach elects to send out the field goal unit. He was perfect on his first attempt, but this is tougher from 49 yards away. And, he and I know so I probably high. should I'm surprised here he's able to put three points pair catch those in the end zone. Right here. They're going to run it. Goes backwards, losing. I, I probably ran there. about five back. Not a lot. Maybe more than that, but there's always a chance you can. Quick slant. I like this play, especially if you can hold it without getting pressure. So he says he squares the curl and showers will go over. And I almost take a safety here. Like I said, it's not a touchdown every time. It's a high percentage play. Thank God the two minute warning saved me from shanking this punt. Punt is away and it's short, not what they were looking Yeah, give him first and ten. Like, see, I, I barely kicked that 35 yards, 40 yards top. They want to cut into this lead before halftime. They have to work quickly now. Look at throwing here to start the drive. <laughs> Took the end straight to the running back. To the, he was trying to do like an RPO quick, quick toss. All right, going to have him.
Quarterback drops back. Hot quick to see what the play call is going to be here. Already running back running free. Of course, thinking touchdown. Looks left and finds his target. First and ten. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup is good enough to move the chain. Trying to get some pressure, man. Like they're they're lying. First and ten here. Pretty much kept me in check. I feel like a lot of times. And that. It's intercepted. Trying to fire hit. into a tight window. Oh my goodness, I forgot about that. With the uh, Jeffries, linebacker punches it out straight into my D-tackle's hands. What a play. Alright, less than two minutes to go. Before halftime. Texas tied in attack. This is a, a zone beater if you can keep it going long enough. And I almost throw another interception. But see how he holds on to that one? Should have probably been picked. It wasn't a very good read. Back to the angle. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Catch made by the tight end. Man, where's the scouting report for this defense? Yeah, you know, back to the attack. This tight end was capable. That's his fifth catch in this first half. Running out of time in the pocket. Giving them uh, three sacks already in the first half, man. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because you need to go to the mesh, get the guy moving. Brother back there. That sack sets up and sometimes that wheel route with like R1, they won't cover it depending on what coverage so they're in. Coming in motion now. Or if your guy's fast enough to see like formation here on third down. Bryant Receiver got the inside back. release. Probably could have thrown it to him for a touchdown, but I check it down. Quick slants. Looking to throw it on first down. Grab down the middle. It's Bryant. First and goal on the 7, 35 seconds and ticking. And thank God 55 came out of nowhere. Jumps on the fumble, keeps the drive alive. Held on long enough. For Rainer to throw it for a touchdown in the half, 13 seconds, 28-13 in our first ever Big 12 championship. Dr. Pepper is the sponsor, and Dr. Pepper's gross. Returner choosing to field this one. I'm a pep guy. And I think Dr. Pep here, not much time remaining before the end of the half. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Let him get a decent run on first down. Take the timeout. 13 seconds left in the half. Or 13 is what they have. Four seconds left in the half. And looking to throw now on first down. Lofting it toward the left sideline. Knock it away into the half. Woo! 28-13. Right, we get the ball to start the third quarter. See if we can extend our lead. Angle getting pile drive. And I watched a lot of a lot of college football YouTubers you know players and some of them will tinker 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 and like is that pressure is coming is that what you guys kind of like or is that what you guys you know is that what you guys do i mean i don't really know it i mean everyone has their own play style you know the the rub routes right there with Bryant, and then you hit the joystick, and he's gone. And I mean, that's the kind of plays, you know, like you see in the NFL nowadays, like a lot of the rub routes where they, it's pass interference, but the offensive player is running a route that just, you know, collides into a passive where the defender's crossing, and then you get a free... Run, you know, receiver, and so 
got to be able to put pressure on him. Or he's gonna That's why mesh can be good. In this game, a lot of times you can get. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Be tackled at the 17. Strong job it's almost like pass interference, but and like just, it's almost like a cluster field. at the line where they don't get free. So I mean, you gotta be safe. But here we are. And they return the favor with a one-hit bomb. Computer's so good with that sometimes. And they're gonna go for two. So 35-13. Now it's 35-19. And yeah, this is where, like, my play that I score a touchdown, they do the same thing to me, where the guy's just sitting there, but the guy covering him gets confused and goes down instead of going above to the guy. And there's a, it's a coverage bug. I know they've fixed a couple plays and things like that. And goodness gracious, my guy got... Shows off the rocks, there, but, but they don't get the two point conversion. So 35 19, six minutes and 11 seconds left in the third. I've got this handily decided, right? Like, I feel like just play good ball. And it shouldn't be that big of a, a challenge here. Defense makes some adjustments. Come up with a stop here. Looks to his left. Back to pass. It's Rainer. Taking another sack, man. It's fourth fourth sack today. Rainer's a trooper, though. I'll, I'll give him that. I haven't ran very much this game, and that's that's usually what I try to do the most is run it back in the pistol. And the single back takes the handoff. Third and 14. Right like, the he's trying to get rid of some of that yardage. A nice game like that. To convert this third down. The player again, that's another drop. But it was pretty tight coverage, so I can't really complain too much. And <laughs> my punting, dude. Like, I don't know what I'm trying to do here, but it's not working. Because they tackle me before I pick the ball. He bear hugged me. Like a puma in the woods. So they're already in the red zone. 35-19. Try to do a QB keeper on the option. Collins thankfully gets it. Second and ten we got. They give it to the running back, and he falls forward for five yards. Third and five. Need a stop. Collins, Collins, got boom sack. First sack of the day, and it's huge. Thirty-five, nineteen. Keeping them. Out of the end zone, getting them on the board with a field goal. 35-22, halfway through the third quarter. And I just got to play my game, man. Like, I don't, it's still 13-point lead, two score. I don't have to, I just don't do anything stupid, right? Just don't do anything stupid, like... Here I go, you know, it's like, okay, do halfback strat, stretch, play. This is what I do about 15 times a game. I want to just run. Because it's so good, especially when you have those fast backs. They can get outside quick. This jet sweep with your running back is really good. Like I said, you can cut in there like that. And instead of trying to go over, I've learned that if you cut in on the end, you can go up quick and... Third down after that running play. So here's Wildcat trying to just do a jet sweep but to another running back. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Get to the edge. Get the first down. But yeah, takeoff and the Joy-Con, uh, joystick icons of the... Guys, man, like, you are better off not even juking. Like, you just go in and out on the joystick, and 
I mean, it's like feather control. It's insane. Bringing pressure. Cannot escape and down he goes. Well, another, another sack. You know, it's like the know, fifth sack of the game. Third and game, 15. Maybe you should change the game plan to help your quarterback a bit. This you know, another angle. Just trying to get times. some yardage. You should focus more on preserving the lead. Short throw to the back. An easy completion. Fourth and five. I mean, 10 yards. Down. It's fourth down now. I probably should punt, right? But this is the thing when you play a computer. They don't punt on fourth down very, or they do. They punt all the time. They're trying to double coverage certain receivers. Everything that they've tried is nine out of ten times they're punting on fourth down in these situations. Humans, I feel like they rarely punt on these situations, and that's the difference. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. But it doesn't matter when you fumble. Give them the ball. Quick touchdown. I felt like I was down here there, but the uh, replay said otherwise. Gives them the quick score. 35-29. Two minutes left in the third. I'm starting to get a little worried. This one will be fair caught. Finally, fair catch it in the end zone. Put me out on the 25. Put on two clock. We're just going to run. And the first play of the drive now from the 25. Getting back to the basics. Unblocked. Two yard loss. Momentum has shifted to West Virginia. Ugh. Gross. Alright, get showers moving. They don't go out. Oh. Nice block. Oh, I should have just kept going. Stop and get tackled. Third and nine. And my line watches me take the sixth sack of the game. Last time I punted, I got bear hugged like I owed somebody money. This time they don't rush, and that's another crappy punt from the 16. I get a nice roll, 50-yard punt, but now I'm only up six, and they can take the lead. Nice tackle on first down, almost into the third. One second difference between the game clock and play clock. Motion now from the tight end. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Collins almost gets free there. Behind the line. Nice tackle on the tight end RPO. Third and twelve. The 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 spin and release, man, it's insane. Like he wouldn't even look in that way and just 180 spins and throws a dart to a, a mesh running the other side of the field. Like not even <laughs> just whoop, boom. First down. Start of the fourth quarter and I felt like I'm I've dominated this whole game and somehow I'm about to be losing. Shotgun drops back. Sideline Felt like that was a pick if he just raises his hand or jumps or does any kind of effort. Booth review on the catch though. And that review confirms the ruling on the field was correct. Second and inches. Here's the second down play. Back to throw again. Caught over the middle. It's Ray. Number seven just trying to man through my entire defense there. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone. Has anybody tipped those back into play? Like, I've, I've had a few where it's been close, but like a couple years ago with a, it was like Oklahoma State or something. They want to avoid a third and long. Where he, he caught it out out of bounds, but threw it back to his teammate for a pick. That'd be sweet to do. All right, so kind of do some Tampa two, third and six. 
try and keep, you know, hit him to field goal, keep making a three-point game. Wide open. Extra point to take the lead. And I can't believe, like, my first Big 12 championship and I was dominating. Dominating. So now he's going to play it clean. Return starts from inside the five. will be tackled at the 18. That's you know, I, I just need a field goal, need a touchdown. The Arkansas State offense back Still got two clock on. So just chip, 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 and here. get out of here with a W. First down. We're going to throw the football. Fires into the wide out. And it's complete downfield. Holds on. Made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball. After a hard hit. So yeah, now five and a half minutes. Do some quick slants again. Call an audible. Get McReynolds to go up. See what they do. Yeah, they got their QB spying me. But I juked and break free, and I oh my gosh! Like especially with like how I fumbled earlier. All right, down to five minutes. I don't want two clock on because I don't want to have something bad happen. Get a first down on the 34. We're in prime real estate. It's complete. Man, that's probably like the third time he's been piled drive this game. <laughs> See if we can get our third turn running back patch it. He's got some pretty good speed. Get on the outside. But 55, who saved our butt earlier, did not do anything to help us that play. So third and nine, 424 left in the game. And just need a first down. Perfect. Four, four minutes. On the 22. We just need a run. Yeah, effective third down play to be able to move the chains. I really like the cut there on the route by the running back, getting across the middle of the field. And like you said, the quarterback does a nice job of getting the ball out of his hands quickly to give the back a chance. I don't know where the ball went, the ball but hey. Okay. Three and a half minutes. We're going to try and get showers over in motion. Hit him on the crosser. Looking to pass. It's Rayner. He's moving out of the pocket. Receiver makes the catch. First and goal on the eight. Three thirty-six left in the game. We got this, right? We got it. We got it. Boom. Second and goal on the five. Two, three plays. We're getting in here. Nice job of getting a completion. Positive yards. Now we got second and goal. Critical time in this game. Oh, the pass is and 22 comes out of nowhere for the pick. Across midfield. At the and my heart now. sinks. I think. Oh my now. gosh. I just, I just lost this game. The but then I remember. They were only up one. So they kicked the extra point. So I am down eight. 42. 43, 35. So I've got a score in three minutes and and get a two point conversion just to tie the game. A take a fair catch. I was dominating. But as fate would have it, they didn't like me. Winning too easy, so. McReynolds falls first down. Falls down first. Down. Let's face it. You're down by eight. You need yards. You need rhythm. Field goals are not going to help you. They need a touchdown and that two-point conversion. 
On first and ten, looking to throw. Huge hole to go so running. And here I should be sliding, but I try to get extra yards. <laughs> Believe me, it's not what you should do. You should slide or run out of bounds. And I hit Bryant for the touchdown. Whew. Now I just need the two-point conversion to tie the game. At 43 apiece with 227 left. Can I get to the edge? 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 And I can. Two point is good. 43 43 Red Wolves. And Mountaineers are tied in the Big 12 Championship. Alright, I just need to stop. I just need to stop. Two minutes and 25 seconds. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. Running out of time in the pocket. He finds the running back. In the nice court. tackle on first down. They lose two yards. What can we do on second down? Playing as Collins on the end. Run it and he's running up the middle. That's a nice Only gain a yard. Two, two minute warning. High game. Third and 11. What are they going to do? Inside zone. Fourth and six. They do two clock, waste about 30 seconds, and then they're going to punt. Here's the game. All we got to do is just run this back. Just kidding. Get the ball at the 50. First down. The Arkansas State offense back on the field now. So here we go. One last chance to win it in regulation and avoid the risk of overtime. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Scanning the field. It's Rayner. Quick throw misses his pressure. Getting to Rayner, man. Had a wide open catch right there. Bad throw. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Looking to scramble. Quarterback looks to his right and finds the first down, minute nine. Down, but the game moves the ball to the 39. Chris We're going to mesh the other way. See what they do. The pocket, Just to get some crisscross applesauce. To be for the first down. Here comes a first down pass attempt. He'll throw it now. Dangerous, dangerous passes. I'm spinning, falling backwards on my heels. Rainer complaining for some reason. Receivers got to do a better job of finishing the play. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Scrambling now, he'll make the throw. I somehow dragged the toe, stayed behind the line of scrimmage. Get the first down with Claire. First and ten on the twenty-seven. All game long, and here we are, late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. That's a great example that he's up to. The guys are starting to drop the balls. Wildcat, jet sweep, see if we can get Bordley in some running room, but no, they hit me, call a timeout, third and 11. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Touchdown, Arkansas State, they have jumped in front in the final minute. Just so Hit Bryant for the touchdown, taking the lead 50 to 43 with 42 seconds left. Alright, we're just going to play defense. Defense. Fields it just outside the goal line. Makes it with a 16. That's good. Alright, 39 seconds. And the Mountaineers offense is back out on the field. Here we go. Crucial situation. They've got time to run a few plays. The defense can't just back off here and play two passes. And they almost busted up the middle. Call the timeout. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play. I called the timeout because I hit the wrong play. And I wanted everybody in the right formation. 
They need to score quickly here. Trying to dial up some big So at midfield with 34 seconds down a touchdown. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Looking for his big tight end. Just out of reach. Open downfield. The offense will spend oh, God. All right. Seconds 27 seconds, 27-yard line, no timeouts. So anything in front of them or inbounds is going to run the clock. They take a huge sack. Tick, 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 tick. Spike the ball. Third and 16 with 13 seconds left. I just need just need to stop. Backed him up. Nothing long. Let's see if I can get a sack. Some defensive play to end the game. We get pressure. We get the sack. And that's the game. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Can't get the ball height. Arkansas State. Big 12 champions. First year in the conference. We only played four conference games because of the EA schedule, bud. Win it 50 to 43. Whew. Playoffs are next. And we're probably going to get a user, human user game, so. We'll see how that goes. Here's our CFP bracket. So we're probably going to finish. Depends on what happens. It's Kennesaw State. We played Oklahoma. They play San Diego State for the uh, SEC title. Kennesaw State won his. Reapers, he won the ACC. All right, well, that'll do it. Like I said, next week, we're going to see what happens. There's going to be some shifting around since uh, Fozzie lost to Oklahoma in the SEC title game. <sighs> we'll catch you on the next one. Ready for some playoffs, finally. Later.